you see, I don't know where all the good bars are, so I rely on my colleagues in Pernodica to, to take me to the really nice places. They're very good. Um, this bar we're in tonight is great. I've never been here before. Um, but I always find new bars. You know, bars change very quickly. Um, new bars appear and um, very smart bars appear and little, little corner bars that make good drinks. Sometimes I like that. You know, not, not, not smart, not fancy, but really good quality drinks. Or sometimes a grand occasion, a big bar with smart glassware. But good drinks is always number one priority. Hard to say. It depends what mood I'm in, what time of day it is, um, where I am, you know, and what the bartender might offer me. But the classics. I love, um, actually, I love gin and tonic. So gin and tonic is a marriage that works. It's beautiful. Um, dry martini, of course. Who doesn't love a dry martini? But not too many. And a big favorite of mine, Negroni. Who, who doesn't like Negroni? A serious drink for grown-ups. Uh, no dilution is all just a combination of three good alcohols, gin being one of them. But whatever the new bartenders are making, I'm happy to taste them. Um, right now, I think I can drink a gin and tonic. It's called Beefeater London Garden. And uh, in London, where the Beefeater distillery is, there's a very old garden beside the River Thames in Chelsea, that area of London, very smart area. And this garden was put together by the apothecaries, the, um, the pharmacists, to train people how to use medicinal plants for making medicines. Because, you know, medicines in the old days were all herbal. Uh, and it's been there for a long time. And our founder, James Burrow of Beefeater, was a pharmacist to begin with. And he lived in Chelsea, so he would have known this garden. Um, and I went there to, to forage. So I, I found some things and I put them in my pockets. And the two flavors I've got are thyme and lemon verbena. And I just add those two to the Beefeater recipe to give a different expression of a classic London gin. Uh, and for me, I think it works extremely well. It's quite, it's quite delicate. It has a sort of softness to it. I have new gins to make, so I, I love my work. 